that I heads. However, Jim got sick of sails, and if you ask nicely, he'll take you out to see his own creation, a wind turbine catamaran. Jim's a mechanical engineer, but he's had an adventuresome life, which has included being shipwrecked and traveling to the South Pole with Sir Edmund Hillary. In fact, it was on the way to the Pole that Jim got interested in using wind power. And here I put this up to Hillary and the expedition um, um, secretary, Arthur Helm, and they poo-hooed the thing and they said they didn't have enough time to bugger about with it in any case. Back in Whangarei, Jim decided to have a crack at a boat powered by a wind turbine, and the result was a cat called Tango. is a very different boat in more ways than one. It's not just that it doesn't have sails, it doesn't really work like a sailboat at all because the giant 10 meter blades of the wind turbine actually drive another propeller under the water. And this means that Tango can point straight into the wind and still go like a scalded cat. So you don't tack or do any of the things that yachts ordinarily do? No, except that the wind turbine has got to face into the wind. So that if, if you alter direction relative to the wind, then you've got to then shift the position of the mast so that the wind turbine faces into the wind. Sure. Well, how does it perform? Well, essentially it goes about half the speed of the wind, but it has the one advantage that you don't have to trim sails, you don't have to uh, reef, you don't have any sheeting or winching gadgets and the rest of it. And you can go straight into the eye of the wind very well. In fact... Um, if it's really rough outside and the winds are, say, blowing 20 or 30 knots, um, you can go straight into the eye of the wind to a point where you'd probably destroy the boat. It'll do eight, nine knots straight into it, and you, and you just sail off the tops of the waves. Uh, it gets to a point where it's too dangerous, so you've got to slow down a bit. But um, it's unbeatable then. Since Jim developed his unusual craft, there's been quite a lot of interest in it, but the world hasn't exactly beaten a path to his door for the design. Still, he's had a lot of pleasure out of building and sailing the unusual cat, and it has one great advantage over the other boats he's owned. This is a tremendously comfortable boat. I've done over 4,000 miles on it now, and I've taken all sorts of people on it. No one's ever been seasick. No one has been seasick. No one. Now, every other vessel I owned, everyone was seasick. And, and that, just that point alone justifies the thing. I suppose we could have marked the end of the first series of TV.